Today I'm going to be installing weather strips on this 1985 Toyota LN65. Uh, first you need to make sure you order the replacement strip. They have new replacement numbers. The original parts are no longer manufactured. And you can get both of them right from Toyota still. So go ahead and order those. Those are the part numbers. And uh, we'll go ahead and start with the uh, inner weather strip. So I'm going to roll down the window here. And this one is held in just by metal clips, so you can just pull it straight up. I've already pre-removed it for the video, but basically you can see right there where the teeth bite into the uh, rubber where the clips are going to be. Uh, I had to reseat one of my clips on the door right here, so make sure all your clips that are going to hold the new weather strip are in place. So here's the old weather strip. We're removing it because you can see the felt here. It's, it's ending, it's slowly, slowly diminishing, and then it's completely gone right here. So that's rubbing up against the window. So with our uh, new replacement strip in hand, which will be this little part right here, we will go ahead and open that. That is uh, 68172-89109. And uh, we'll go ahead and put that in. So just grab a pair of scissors and cut that open. And let's give it a shot, see if it fits. Yeah, as you can tell, look at the felt on that. That's just brand new, just really good quality. And it uh, should be a direct fit. Let's go ahead and see if that fits in there. Line it up here. Uh, I'm probably gonna start at the back. And there we go. Nice, firm placement. Make sure you get each and every one in there. And keep going down the line here. That seats up real nice. I think at the end here I'm missing just a piece, so let's go ahead and reseat that. There we go. There's piece one done. Let's go ahead and test the window here. Looks like the other weather strips fell in and blocking it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the other strip. Now, when you remove this second weather strip, it's going to break the plastic clips and they're all gonna fall down on the inside of the door. So just be aware of that. That's gonna be normal. And this is seemed to have fallen down in, there we go. So all of these clips right here have broken off and fallen inside the door. So you will have to remove the door panel to take those out. So. Here's the new replacement piece for that. Both of these have the same part number for left and right hand side, so I just ordered two of them. 68160-89116. That's again, the replacement part for the original part number. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open that there. And uh, inspect the felt, everything looks really clean. So we'll go ahead and uh, pop that in exactly as the uh, original one was. Now, the clips fit into the holes right in the door here, as you can see. These clips fit right in those holes. So you want to make sure you get that right the first time because they're made of plastic. And while we have it here, let's inspect the uh, first window layer. Test it, roll up the window. Okay, felt's lining up nicely. So let's go ahead and put the second one in place. And these go on the inside back of the holes on the door. So get it just right in the middle. Start on that end. And when you feel you've had it just right, go ahead and pop it in place. This last clip missed its mark, so we'll have to back it up a little. Now, good thing I have a screwdriver. The last clip is 
gonna need a little assistance here. I'm just gonna have to push it forward. You'll hear a clip, there it is. And now it'll engage the uh, pillar. And finally, everything's in place. So test your window out, make sure it rolls up perfectly. And there we go. Window seal's done.